Have you ever felt like reality is just off? Like the world around you is not quite what it seems. As if there's a hidden layer beneath the surface that you can't quite put your finger on. Like something is not quite right. You're not alone. Many people have experienced this eerie sensation, a feeling that has been the subject of countless philosophical debates and scientific inquiries. This unsettling feeling like a glitch in the matrix has haunted philosophers and scientists for centuries. From Plato's allegory of the cave to Descartes' evil demon, the idea that our perceived reality might be an illusion has been a recurring theme in human thought. What if I told you this isn't just a feeling but a possibility? A possibility that has gained traction in recent years thanks to advancements in technology and our understanding of the universe. A possibility that we are living in a sophisticated computer simulation, a hyper-realistic video game crafted by beings beyond our comprehension. Imagine a world where every detail, every sensation is meticulously programmed to create the illusion of reality. Remember the iconic red pill slash blue pill choice from The Matrix. This choice symbolizes the decision to either accept the comforting lie of an artificial reality or to embrace the harsh truth of the real world. The choice between accepting a comfortable illusion or facing the unsettling truth. It's a metaphor that resonates deeply with our current exploration of the simulation hypothesis. Today we stand on a similar precipice. With each technological leap, we inch closer to understanding the true nature of our existence. Advancements in technology, from virtual reality to artificial intelligence, make the simulation hypothesis more plausible than ever before. These technologies blur the line between the real and the virtual, challenging our perceptions of what is possible. This isn't science fiction anymore. It's a serious philosophical and scientific inquiry that has captured the imagination of thinkers and researchers worldwide. It's a serious philosophical and scientific inquiry. Scholars from various fields are coming together to explore the implications of living in a simulated universe. Join me now on a journey through the Cosmic Code, where we'll explore the mind-bending possibility that our universe is not what it seems. We'll dive deep into the theories and evidence that suggest our reality might be a sophisticated illusion. We'll delve into the heart of the simulation hypothesis, examining the evidence, the arguments, and the profound implications for humanity. What does it mean for our understanding of life, consciousness, and the universe itself? Fasten your seatbelts, fellow explorers, as we venture down the rabbit hole of simulated reality. Prepare to challenge your perceptions and question the very fabric of existence. The truth, as they say, might be stranger than fiction, but in this case, it might also be more fascinating and enlightening than we ever imagined. The idea that we might be living in a simulation isn't new. It's a concept that has fascinated thinkers for centuries, from ancient philosophers to modern scientists. Philosophers have grappled with the nature of reality for millennia. They have pondered questions about the fabric of existence, the nature of consciousness, and the possibility that our perceived world might be an illusion. But it was philosopher Nick Bostrom who gave the simulation hypothesis its modern scientific form. His groundbreaking work has sparked debates and inspired countless discussions in both academic and popular circles. Bostrom's 2003 paper argued that if civilizations reach a point of technological sophistication where they can create realistic simulations of universes, then it's likely we are already in one. This idea isn't just science fiction. It's grounded in logical reasoning and probability theory. Think of it like this. If we can create highly detailed simulations today with our current technology, Imagine what future civilizations millions of years more advanced could achieve. The level of detail and realism they could incorporate would be beyond our wildest dreams. These future civilizations could create simulations so intricate and lifelike that the inhabitants of these simulations would have no idea they were living in a constructed reality. They would perceive their world as entirely real. Their simulations would be indistinguishable from reality itself. Every detail, every sensation, every experience would be meticulously crafted to mimic the real world. Bostrom's argument hinges on probability. 
with countless simulations potentially running, it's statistically more likely that we are in a simulated reality than in the original one. The sheer number of possible simulated worlds vastly outnumbers the single original reality. This is a radical idea, challenging our deepest assumptions about the nature of existence. It forces us to reconsider what we know about our world and our place in it. But stay with me. The rabbit hole goes deeper. As we explore this concept further, we'll uncover even more mind-bending possibilities that challenge our understanding of reality itself. Imagine a computer program so advanced it can simulate an entire universe, down to the smallest detail. Every atom, every star, every thought and emotion, encoded in lines of code. This is the essence of the simulation hypothesis. In this simulated universe, the laws of physics are not fundamental truths but lines of code, parameters set by the creators. Time, space and matter are simply data points in a vast, complex program. We, the simulated beings within this digital world, would be none the wiser. Our senses would perceive this simulated reality as completely real. But like any program, there might be clues, hints of the underlying code that betray the true nature of our reality. Have you ever experienced a deja vu, a sudden feeling that you've lived this moment before, or witnessed an object vanish and reappear in a slightly different spot? These seemingly insignificant events, often dismissed as tricks of the mind, could be interpreted as glitches in the matrix, errors in the simulation. Proponents of the simulation hypothesis point to these unexplained phenomena as evidence of our simulated nature. Just like a computer program can experience bugs and glitches, our reality might have similar hiccups, revealing the artificial scaffolding beneath. These glitches, while anecdotal, offer a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility that our reality is not as solid and immutable as we believe. The Quantum Quandary Clues from the Fabric of Reality The world of quantum mechanics, the study of the very small, provides even more compelling hints. Quantum phenomena like particle entanglement, where two particles are linked across vast distances, seem to defy the laws of classical physics. It's as if these particles are communicating instantaneously, violating the cosmic speed limit of light. Some physicists propose that this spooky action at a distance, as Einstein famously called it, could be evidence that our universe is not fundamentally real, but based on information, much like a computer simulation. Perhaps the seemingly bizarre rules of quantum mechanics are simply the operating system of our simulated reality. The strange, counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics might hold the key to unlocking the secrets of our simulated existence. A universe built on ones and zeros. The tech argument. The rapid pace of technological advancement, particularly in fields like virtual reality and artificial intelligence, lends further credence to the simulation hypothesis. Every year, our simulations become more realistic, more immersive, blurring the line between the virtual and the real. If we continue on this trajectory, it's not unreasonable to imagine a future where we can create simulations indistinguishable from reality itself. And if we can create them, wouldn't that suggest more advanced civilizations might have already done so? Our own technological progress serves as a compelling mirror, reflecting the possibility that we are already living within a creation far grander than our own. Doubting the digital arguments against the simulation. Of course, the simulation hypothesis is not without its critics. Many argue that it's impossible to prove or disprove, and therefore remains purely speculative. Others contend that the vast computational power required to simulate an entire universe is simply infeasible, even for an advanced civilization. There's also the question of purpose. Why would someone create a simulation so complex? What would be the point? These are valid questions with no easy answers. While the simulation hypothesis is a captivating idea, it's crucial to approach it with a healthy dose of skepticism and to acknowledge the counter-arguments. Does it matter? Life in the age of uncertainty. But here's the thing. Does it really matter if we're living in a simulation? Would the knowledge that our reality is a sophisticated illusion change how we live our lives? 
Some argue that it would render our existence meaningless, reducing us to mere lines of code. However, I believe the opposite is true. If anything, the simulation hypothesis underscores the preciousness and wonder of our existence. Whether we are simulated beings or not, our experiences, emotions and connections are all real to us. The simulation hypothesis, far from diminishing our existence, invites us to embrace the mystery and complexity of the universe with open minds and a sense of awe. Our simulated future, a new cosmic perspective. The simulation hypothesis, regardless of its veracity, forces us to confront profound questions about the nature of reality, the very fabric of our existence, and the boundaries of what we can truly know. It challenges us to rethink our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The limits of knowledge and our place in the cosmic order become central themes in this exploration. We are compelled to question the very essence of what is real and what is an illusion. It compels us to look beyond our everyday assumptions and to embrace the vastness and strangeness of the universe. The cosmos, with its infinite mysteries, beckons us to explore and understand its secrets. Perhaps as we continue to explore the cosmos and unlock the secrets of our own existence, we will find answers to questions we never even thought to ask. The journey of discovery is as important as the destination. We will one day have a definitive answer to the question, are we living in a simulation? Or will this question lead us to even deeper inquiries about the nature of consciousness and reality itself? Or perhaps the answer will forever remain elusive, a tantalizing mystery that fuels our curiosity and drives us to explore the unknown. The quest for understanding is a journey without end, a tantalizing mystery that fuels our curiosity and drives us to explore the unknown. Each step we take, each discovery we make, brings us closer to understanding the grand tapestry of existence. One thing is certain, the journey down the rabbit hole of simulated reality is an adventure for the ages, a journey that challenges our perceptions, expands our consciousness, and opens new realms of possibility. A journey that challenges our perceptions, expands our consciousness, and reminds us of the infinite wonders that lie hidden within the fabric of existence. It is a journey that invites us to dream, to imagine, and to explore, and reminds us of the infinite wonders that lie hidden within the fabric of existence. The universe, in all its complexity and beauty, is a testament to the boundless potential of human curiosity and imagination.